definitely the name of the group of Naughty by Nature before uh before Naughty by Nature was a group called The New South. And we got that name because we didn't have a name for the group. KG mm. was DJ and Ben 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 Rock was beatboxing. I was the MC and we needed a name for the group. We just always used to they used to beatbox for me, even when K wasn't in like in, you know, we couldn't have equipment in school, but we was in, everybody else used to bang on the table for a beat, but Vin used to beatbox for me. So we had advantage with that. So it's the new style when we went to 18th Street, where that was our our home grounds, where we used to practice on the sunroof. It, it, Beastie Boys, it's the new style. New style, yeah. After so Kamikaze, we yeah. Always, we used to always cut that into... When, when I'm rhyming, so we was like, yo, we need a name. So K was just cutting one day. It's the, it's the, it's the new style. We was like, yo, we're going to be new style. Ooh. And it was the late 80s. So it was so dope. And we, we was new style. We had a record on Bone On Me Records, which was a subsidiary of Sugar Hill Gang. So if you look it up, if you pull up the new style group, you're going to see KG had a flat top fade. You know, we was fresh off the block. We had Bally's, gold nugget rings, all that. We was hustling like a muffler. You feel me? But our group was the New Style. So coming out, signing the Flavor Unit, we was like, okay, New Style is the late 80s. And it was about the time when the crack e epidemic was on and we was crack dealers. Real real life New Jack City. And when we came out in the 90s, it was like, we're going to switch that up because we had basically a shelf sitter. You know, we ain't selling no records. It was, we was a write-off. And we was like, we got to get a new name. So I looked into a gang of titles we had under the group New Style. And one of the songs' name was Naughty by Nature. I said, dogs, we need to be Naughty by Nature. We signed the Flavor Unit. It's the early 90s. It ain't the 80s no more. New Style is dated. Let's do Naughty by Nature. And everybody said no. Especially uh, Shah, Shah from Flavion, he was like, yo, it's just too long. I'm like, nah, y'all got to understand. Naughty by nature, everybody could feel like they're part of the group and say, I'm naughty by nature. We and did. so we're pulling a gang of arms and legs and toenails and fingernails. And I'm, they was like, you really want this? And I'm like, you know what? I don't even want to come out as a group. If, if we ain't named naughty by nature, we could do so much from it. And then Vin and all of us was talking about clothing and, and ideas and like like everybody is, you could say you naughty by nature. She could say that that bum walking down the street could say he naughty by nature. Naughty that by kid nature, right, right here going to school be like, I'm naughty by nature. Back. And, and they was like, all right, let's go with it. And the rest is history. You remember yeah, what speaking of, I wanted to say this, man. Speaking of, because I used to watch your MTV raps, and I remember you showing the machete, man. And I, I was like, aka the album. Ali like, Baba. what made you want to, you know, grab the, you know, the Alibaba and and tell us? And do you still got Alibaba? Nah, somebody stole that shit from us a, 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 a backstage one time at a show, like in the early nineties. We ne we put a Damn. we actually put a reward out like a kidnapped child. Right, because Alibaba <laughs> yeah, was like, like your baby for real. Yeah, I think somebody um and actually I got it tattooed on my face. Rest in peace, Alibaba. We know right. somebody they kidnapped him. But I'm I'm like it probably was like a stage hand or something, like backstage. They didn't even know what it was back then because my real uh, notable item was the chain and the lock. And I always had that around my neck. Mm -hmm. So it was like the chain, the machete, you you really never seen it on videos or anything else because they told me I couldn't even have it on videos. I had it like on the cover of the only place you could see it was like on a abandoned project, like in, in, in Jersey on the cover of OPP single. Like we had machete, so they didn't even. They probably thought it was like something left, like in the back of the stage, and it was probably some, you know, white boys, some rock boys. They didn't even know it was like a part of the stage. I wouldn't even say nobody stole it. I'm just saying they took it without even knowing how classic it was, you know. Right, how classic it was, and I'm kind of glad that you said about the chain and lock because you inspired a lot of people with the chain and lock, and especially like. 
I even think like even John Cena, you know, from WWE even had his chain in lock because of you. And and a lot of people like DMX, RP to DMX, he even rocked the chain because uh being inspired by you. Rampage. And Rampage, yeah, Rampage. you know what I'm saying? Which and, which you got the chance got to work with. Yeah, I got a chance to work with in Lord of the Streets. Yep. It was a good movie. Go on there. So did a movie with Anderson Silva, a gang of MMA uh, fighters, and I was an MMA fighter in there. So, you know, I got my ass whipped through the whole shit. I know. (laughs) With professional fighters. But I I damn sure handled my own. 